Hi, and welcome to One Verse, where we explain the Bible one verse at a time, because I believe it's one verse that can make all the difference. Today we're going to be reading Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. And it says, After this I looked, and there before me was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, tribe, people, and language, standing before the throne and before the Lamb. They are wearing white robes and were holding palm branches in their hands. You see, this is one of the most climactic passages in all of Scripture. This passage here is describing all people in unity and worship of the Lamb, which is Jesus. You see, what is important to focus in on this passage is the diversity and unity that comes under the worship of Jesus. See, the church ought to be using its multicultural power that is seen and resembled in this heavenly climactic moment. Every language, every tribe, every people are coming together in the worship of God. You see, the Bible never describes the church as a building. The church has and always will be about people. People in worship of God is the church. You see, the church is meant to resemble this heavenly picture. And the church ought to be striving to resemble this multi-ethnic racial place. And this is why matters of injustice, racial injustice, should shake the church to its core. Because the church ought to be leading the fight to bring unity by the power of the Spirit of God. Because the church believes that all people were created in the image of God. There are seven and a half billion people in this world, and Christ died for the sins of all of them. And he rose from the grave on that Easter morning to offer the world his gift of salvation. And this is a matter and the goal of the church is to reach the nations for Christ. For one day, there will be one people under one God and one worship to Him. And what we read in this passage, it all comes as this climactic moment in verse 10, where the global church says, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne and to the Lamb. May the global church say Amen.